Welcome to Vendao's concept. Welcome to mass physics. If you look at this formula, this is the formula banks use to know how much you pay at the expiration of the amount of money you borrowed. This is the amount you are going to pay after the expiration of the loan. This is the amount you borrowed, which is called the principal. R over 100 is the percentage at which your loan is increasing, depending on the time, maybe per month or per year, depending on agreement. Why this N is how long the loan will last. Now, the question is, express N in terms of X. You want to find the time it will take, which is N. Let's make N the subject formula. In this case, the only approach you know is to take, so take log, log of both sides. If I take log, so I'm going to have log, A is going to be equal to log, P bracket 1 plus R over 100, or raised power N. So why am I using log? To, to carry this that was on top, to bring it down. That is the essence of log. So I have log, A is equal to log, P plus log, 1 plus R over 100, or raised power N. Why the plus? The law says when you are multiplying, P is multiplying the whole bracket. So when you are multiplying, it changes to addition. So this log P plus the log of everything in this bracket with that power. So that is essence. The next thing is log A is equal to log P plus N log 1 plus R over 100. Why? Look at this. It has come down. Why? Because according to the law, we call it the power law. Whenever there is a power, log of an expression with a power that the power can come down and multiply the expression why it leaves the power so you can climb from wherever it is and comes down so at this point i want to make n the subject formula so i'm going to say that n is equal to log a minus log p all over log one plus r over 100. that is this i have made this so what i did was Carry this P to this side, it becomes minus, and divide both sides by log 1 plus R over 100. This is how to make it the subject formula. However, you can still break this down, so we can go further by saying N is equal to log A minus log P all over log 100 plus R all over 100. So that is it. I can still go further by reducing this 100. 